Look at those beautiful flowers spawning in the world. Let's see how to add flower generation to Minecraft. Alright, your friends, back in Intelligent once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding some custom flower generation to Minecraft. So just like last tutorial where we have seen the tree generation, now flower generation is going to be added. Just as one more example of how the world generation might function. And for this, first of all, we're going to copy over the actual configured feature. Now, all of this is available to you in the description below, GitHub repository and individual gist as well. And you can see, once again, we're using a certain field here from the feature class. So I cannot stress this enough. Take a look at the feature class right here. This has everything that you need to know for basically any feature that is implemented in Minecraft in the world generation. So you can see root systems, there's the glow lichen, there's even underwater magma, end spikes, there's end gateways, coral mushrooms, twisting vine. There's, there's so many things in here and you can always middle mouse button click on this and see where has this been used, how has this been used, how does it look like, how can I take this, make it a little bit different than from the vanilla one and, you know, shape it to be my own custom feature. So highly recommend you can also go into the package right here, middle mouse button, click on this and you can see all of the different features as well as, I mean, not only the features, but also the specific configured feature classes, the placed features, all of this is in here. So I cannot stress this enough. Just take a look at this and you will hopefully be able to find, well, exactly what you're looking for and make the world generation of your dreams. But for the time being, we're going to use the flower here. And overall, this is not too crazy of a field here. You can see we're making the feature flower and then we're just making a random patch feature config with 64 tries right here. And then we're just making, you know, the lilac flower and setting that down. Once again, this is something taken from vanilla pretty much. So if I middle mouse button, click on this, you can see, let's take the flower default right here in line 62. And you can see this pretty much takes the same thing. Random patch feature config here, simple block. We're actually going to take a look at this one. No, and then there's a noid states provider here. It's just a blue orchid, for example. So the 64 would probably be the, you know, easiest to take a look at right here. Flower swamp is the one that is pretty much the same as this. Well, then after we've added this now, of course, we need once again from configured feature to place feature. Now, luckily, we don't have to go as crazy as with the tree where we went from configured feature to place feature to configure feature to place feature. This time we only need to go from configured feature to place feature and then placing it in the world. So in the mod placed features class, once again, we're going to copy this over and you can see this is the align like placed feature right here. Then we're just taking the configured feature and then adding some stuff of how this is basically uh, supposed to be spawned here. What I highly recommend is once again, of course, playing around with this You can also once again, take a look at the vanilla examples here. So we go back in here to the, let's say the flower swamp and you can see this is the place feature for the flower swamp in line 77. And you can see it has the rarity filter placement of 32 squared placement modifier. We have the place features dot motion blocking height map and the biome placement dot of and this is exactly the same thing that I have here. Oh, no, I, actually, this is the exact this is the exact same thing that I have here, just with a different rarity filter placement modifier right here. Highly recommend just playing around with the numbers, taking a look at the vanilla examples, and then changing it around a little bit. For example, see, okay, what if happens if I just you know you know replace one of those with nothing? Or you know what happens then? Just try it out. Be open to experimentation. I cannot stress this enough. This is the best way to learn basically anything, but also here in the world generation where a lot of stuff is kind of hard to understand sometimes. I just highly recommend doing that. And then once we have this place feature, we're just going to make a new gen class. So this is going to be the mod flower generation. And I'm actually going to copy it over because this looks pretty much exactly the same as the we're just gonna add this as well. There you go. This pretty much looks exactly the same as the tree generation. You can see once again vegetal decoration. Uh, once again in the actual planes category of biomes. And then here we have this lilac place where we get the key and then get it. And that would pretty much be it. Now we just need to add this right here. So we can just say it, it can be either go at the top or at the bottom here. The order in this case does not matter because both of them are vegetal decoration. So this should be fine. But this is pretty much all that we need to do. You can see a lot more straightforward than the tree generation, especially because tree, of course, you have to have the tree first and then all of the generation surrounding it is a little more complicated. But it's still a good example of how some different generation works. So highly recommend just checking out the vanilla stuff. As always, it's the best resource that you have. But for the time being, this is actually all that we need. So let's make a new world and let's see if it works. All right, friends, I'm back in Minecraft. So let's just immediately search once again for a plains biome here. And let's see if we can't find our flowers here spawning somewhere around. 
let's just hope that there they are so there's already a big field of them as you can see that is sort of the extent for it now sadly the planes biome here is once again not that large just like last time so i believe that this is pretty much the only flower oh there's actually a second one right here so there's two patches of our flowers that's pretty cool so once again with something like this like how many of spawn you know how much of them spawn just play around with the numbers i can't stress this enough that's probably the, the best thing to do just play around with the numbers and see where you end up and then you're gonna probably be fine so this is actually how easy it can be to add some custom flower generation to minecraft right but that would already be it for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new if you did i would very much appreciate a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated and I'll see you in the next tutorial. So yeah.